Greetings YouTube and welcome to another crystal opening commentary today brought to you by Barricade or in the lineup Craig slash Barricade and Craig I have not watched this video I do not know what you have sent along other than obviously six basic five star crystals and so I am very excited to see if you can pull at least one great five star champion from these six Keep in mind, I think the data has shown so far that about 10% of the time you should pull a great champion. So that's one out of every 10 five-star basics. Now, in six, you should expect to hopefully have at least one like better than average upper tier champion, like say a Doc Ock, maybe like an Iceman. What's up, Corvus? Sabretooth, Iron Man Infinity War, Quake? Oh, that, that was such a beautiful reel. You had Corvus, you had Quake, you had Iron Man Infinity War, Ghost Rider, and that's a new Quake. Dude, congratulations. I put Quake, of course, at the top tier. If you know how to play with Quake, you can basically beat the game most with most nodes. So if you get five Groots, <laughs> technically you're still doing better than average. So this is all kind of a bonus. This is like spinning a jackpot on your first slot machine spin and then just using like, I don't know, $200 of free play credit for the rest of the time. You may not get anything, but who cares? You're already going to walk away a winner. And now, what's up, Corvus again at Omega Red again? <laughs> Oh, that's some troll rollover. Corvus, Omega Red, and Red Hulk, and then, of course, Cable, who uh, is not an upgrade from Satellite in this game. And it's a good dupe, you know? It's a solid dupe. I remember Cable used to be one of the better five stars in the Mutant class, but the Mutant class got so many amazing champions, the latest, of course, being Namor, that you just can't think of Cable as a top mutant option, even close to the top, really. Probably just in the middle of the tier. Not terrible, but not great. Who knows, Colossus and Old Ball's Logan might be better than him now with the beta test changes. All right, Magic, Symbiote Supreme. Nice. Wow. Symbiote Supreme and Quake and two out of three. Bro, go buy a lottery ticket. What an amazing start. This is one of the better starts to an opening I've ever featured in like the 30 or 40 commentaries I've now been able to have the privilege of doing on my channel. All right. You got two amazing champs. You are riding high. You should not expect anything outside of, like, King Groot and Ronin now. I'm not talking about that Ronin. I'm talking about the other Ronin. But uh, who knows? Maybe we can have a good champion coming around the real. What's up, Venom the Duck and Iceman? Guillotine, Mephisto, Carnage, Ant-Man, and the champion? Okay. That is a middle-tier champion that uh, I would expect to pull at this point. And it's a, wow, fourth dupe. Well, you're going to have a great defender on your hands. Fighting the champion is one of many reasons why I don't miss Alliance War. <laughs> I will never miss Alliance War, in fact. All right. Um, again, riding with house money. Really, he was riding with house money after opening that quake. So this is um, this is really just a bonus. I'm so happy when people send me openings that start off well because I know no matter what, they're going to be happy. It's the ones that are just painfully bad and then never get good and then just ends where you're like, yeah, is that guy free to play? Hawkeye, Iceman, What? And that's a new Iceman? You got Iceman, Symbiote Supreme, and Quake in the same opening? Shut the front door. Go buy two lottery tickets. You are go you're going to be like the, the bane of uh, the community's existence. That's not even an intentional DC reference in a Marvel video. But man, wow. I can't even imagine what you're feeling right now, or I guess at the time of recording this. It's been a while, maybe. But uh, you better just be fist pumping, man. This is not an everyday kind of opening. This is a once in a year, maybe once every five years opening. Uh, Iron Man Infinity War, King Groot, Dormammu. Wow, okay. And Nick Fury would have been amazing too. Is this a first time dupe of Dorm? Yes. Okay. Okie dokie. That was amazing. Iceman, Symbiote Supreme, and Quake in six crystals. Half of your champions were top tier and Dorm's right up there too. Such an underrated... Yeah, you better take a screenshot of that. That is a screenshot you want to keep forever. And are we done? No, he's got a six star as well. Ha <laughs> ha, yes. All right, now, buddy, you just had maybe your best luck ever of five stars. You should not expect the six star luck to continue. Normally, I think if you've got great luck in the five stars, it's going to be terrible for six stars. Or vice versa. Maybe if you have a terrible five star opening, you'll pull a great six star. I would expect somebody like kind of in the middle tier, like Vegan Thor from this. The champion, hopefully better than Electra. Uh, Omega, Ronin, and ooh, Mr. Sinister. Fascinating. I'd put him in the upper middle tier of champions in his class. 
I hate fighting Mr. Sinister. It's terrible. You have some amazing defenders, man. The champion at SIG 80, six-star Mr. Sinister. I would not want to fight you in Alliance War. Again, thank God I'm retired from that. Well, wow. Craig, Barricade. I guess we'll call you Barricade since that's your name in the game. That was a fan-freaking-tastic opening, particularly the, the five stars. I mean, screenshot that thing forever. Keep that screenshot. And also, treat yourself to a lottery ticket or two because your luck was just uncanny. This was an amazing opening. I have been sent some truly awesome RNG lately. So I really appreciate when people entrust me with the commentary, the play-by-play -play of their crystal openings. It's so much fun to do. It really does make me so happy to have a YouTube channel when I get to do this. And I just want to say thanks for watching and thanks again to Barricade for providing this awesome luck video to commentate. If you are interested in submitting a video for me to commentate, remember I would like you to save up at least five five stars and hopefully like a six star uh, minimum and then send it to me in the line app. If it's longer than five minutes, we'll probably have to go through email in the Dropbox, which is pretty standard at this point. But uh, yeah, it's a lot of fun to do and it gives you a chance to kind of get your name out there and, and be seen by your alliance mates and, and hear me maybe sound like I haven't hit puberty if you get something real exciting and then go up to falsetto. <laughs> what a weird way to end a video. Thanks for watching YouTube. Have a good one.